does it feel like I kill my coolie? Is that what it is? No, no, I don't think that. Uh, what well, are you sure? How come you're so certain it's Ripley that you're trying to bully witnesses into giving false statements? Because I've reconsidered all the evidence. Right, nothing to do with the fact that his wife's blown you out, then. The thing is, we are getting married. I gathered that. The arcade's yours. talk about this you did what you had to do i did what i had to do what's there to talk about ripley it's been over a week he can't keep shutting me out like this can't hang around i got my daughter's wedding to arrange since when did you decide it was all right for cheyenne to get married oh i've changed my mind about a lot of ripley things. you're not going anywhere until we've talked i said have an eye there's nothing to talk about you are walking around in a dream you don't come home on a night you close down the arcade the flats burnt down you didn't even seem that bothered well, why would it be when i burned them down what i burned the flats down I put the flats in trust for the kids and you had to get your own back, didn't you? What are you so worried about? Were you going to move in there? Oh, I see. That's why your bags were packed. Don't be so stupid. Stupid's what I do best. The whole town thinks so. So where were you going? I don't know, anywhere. I was just so angry with you when Ma told me you were going to remortgage this house, our house, to keep your stupid dream of the arcade going. Stupid dream. There's that word again. I didn't mean it like that. So when did you stop believing, Natalie? All I could see was money going out and nothing coming in. You didn't even get planning permission. I couldn't sit by and let you risk everything this family owns. Oh, I see. So you did it for the family. I did it for the kids, yeah. If you want to hate me for that, then go ahead and hate me. That's fine. Our family. That's right, our family.
You said there'd be no casino hotel, and so it came to pass. Well, maybe there was never supposed to be. This way it makes sense. See, a long time ago, when I was a lad at school, I messed someone's life up. This bloke, Steve, never gave him a second thought. And there he was, all the time, not behind me, not in my past, but ahead of me. Like a jackknife lorry waiting for me to crash into it. We're all responsible for our own fate. You just said that maybe this place wasn't meant to be and I can live with that. So you're happy to take the glory if everything goes right, but not the blame if it all goes wrong. I might have blamed that my wife's shagging somebody else as well. What? No, don't look so worried. You're in the clear. I know who it is. I'm sorry. I just wish God had let me know when my luck was running out, you know. A hint. A tip off something. It's the thought of me dad sitting up there on God's right hand, pissing himself, laughing at me. Because I thought I'd won, you know. Thought I'd seen the old fella off. Thought he couldn't hurt me anymore. I thought Ripley Holden was lucky. Slithering up. I uh, take it the flats were your handiwork. We don't have to pull them down. It's a death trap in there. Why don't you go in and take a look? But they're still in your children's names, so any insurance money will go into their accounts. Thanks for the impartial advice. <laughs> well, that's the thing about insurance fiddles. You need to know what you're doing. It wasn't an insurance fiddle. No bit of crime of passion. Well, if anything's going to convince the powers that be that you're not fit to run a casino hotel, it's this act of reckless arson. So the sooner you sign over the arcade and let me get started, the better for everybody. Looks to me like you've already begun. My daughter's getting married tomorrow. Oh, well, congratulations. You're invited. Thank you. That's, uh, that's very generous of you in the circumstances. Oh, let bygones be bygones, eh? It'll be a good do. Better than staying at home with your grumble videos. Well, I'll, um... I'll definitely make it then, yes. Thanks. And the paperwork, the transfer of the arcade into my name? I've instructed my solicitors to transfer the deeds. Don't worry about that. Right, well... It's for the best. For one of us, maybe. I've had 30 yeses and about 15 noes, 10 no replies. What about you? Yeah. Uh, not so many, I'm afraid. So how many? About half a dozen, mainly men. What about family? Just the one. One? Are you that ashamed of me? Of course not. My parents are dead. My brother, well, you know, I don't speak to my brother. My sister can't get over from Canada, so there's just one. It's because Dad's organising it, isn't it? It's not your dad. But the one person that I want to be there is going to be there, so... And? What? Who is it? You'll find out on the day. Ex-wife? No. But get on with it. All right. Your love child. It's my son. All right, I've got a grown-up son. Oh. Well, there's a surprise. I would have told you sooner, but the time was never right. And we're going to get married suddenly, and... You're all right with it, aren't you? Of course I am. Yeah, of course. I look forward to meeting him. 